so much. We've got a marvellous studio audience in Toronto. Tremendous. Very sad night for us, this, really. It's the last show of the series. Yeah. Last one. <laughs> but looking back at it, what a, sh what a series it's been, hasn't it's it? It's been brilliant, hasn't yeah. it? Do you Still know we've lost uh, three times as many star prizes? As in any other series? Well, yeah. I think in any other series, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Looks out about one in three, and this time we've... 14 down, I think. Yeah, it's, in down. fact, it's been the non doubt players that's done the damage. Yeah, really. the first three in, in the, yeah. the trebles. And Have you spoke to the producer about well, it? Well, I can't actually reach him, he's standing on the window ledge. <laughs> 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 well, I'll tell you what, I've been watching the players there today, and uh, there's some brilliant players amongst them tonight. I'll tell you what I'll do tomorrow morning, I'll book an intensive care ward for him at the hospital. <laughs> I think we'll. Right. Right. Let's see how we Let's see to. how we get on. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> there you go, lads. Have a nice one. Here you come, lads. How are you, Charlie? Welcome yeah. to the studio, sir. Nice Thank firm sh handshake. How are you, Alex? Yeah. We hope you have a lovely night with us. You've travelled a long way to be with us. Hope it's worth your while. All right, have a nice okay. night. How are you, Gwen? Fine, thank you, Jim. Nice to see you. And Malcolm. Fine, thank now, you. We don't often get this. We, we've, got, we've got a husband and wife. Right, <laughs> How are you, Robert? Nice, nice to see, see you. you Young Robbie. Oh, how are you, sir? All right. Please give them a round of applause on our last show. <laughs> Tremendous contestants. Have a good night. Take your time. Let's play bullseye. Off you go. No problem. Good. Good. Right. Here we go. For the last time this series, folks, sorry about this at home, because we know how, how much you enjoy the show. Here are the questions, and over there, our brain's waiting to answer them. Right, to remind you at home, questions in the first round, £30. We've got our studio audience well under control. <laughs> We're going to encourage our six contestants tonight. Have a good night, all of you. Let's go out with a bang. Come on, Charlie, choose for Alex. Faces, please, Jim. Right, sir. Faces we'd like, please. Come on now, Alex. OK, Alex. Well, we went for bullseye, and it's showbiz, Jim. Showbiz, but, well, it couldn't be a better subject for you, really, could it? In Coronation Street, which character is played by actor Johnny Briggs? Mike Baldwin. Yes, sir. Excellent. Gwen, for Malcolm. Books, please, Jim. We'll do our best for you, Malcolm. Yes, that is the bullseye. Whoa! <laughs> well, that's a third of a bedroom decorated for you, Gwen. <laughs> for £30 on book, sweetheart, listen to this. Which book by Thomas Harris was filmed and starred Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter? Silence of the Lambs. Absolutely. I've never been as frightened since I got in a lift with Nina Mishkoff. Right, <laughs> carry on. Robert for Robbie. Places, please, Jim. All right, sir. Thank you. Places, Robbie. That's a bullseye. Good ride. Yeah. 200 yeah. pounds. Yay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll just... If it makes you feel any better, Robert, the producer has now jumped off the window ledge. <laughs> Here we go, Robert, for 30 pounds, sir. Nice and steady. Which region in the Yukon, Canada, was the scene of a great gold rush in the late 1890s. Now you know that. Yeah. Lost it, Jim. Lost it, The lights are on. We're looking at a bonus light, a buzzer. You do surprise me. In fact, it was the Klondike. Oh, all three of you. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. But you're still doing very well. We move on to round two now, where the questions are worth £50 each. A little more difficult, but we're all settled in now. No problems. Choose a lit category, Charlie, for Alex. Spelling, please. Spelling with like. Yes, 50. 50 pounds you have. For another 50 pounds, Charlie, caviar is a delicacy. Please spell delicacy. D-E-L-I-C-A-S-Y. Is wrong. I can offer it to Robert. Spell delicacy. D E L. I C A C Y. Let me check it with Bully. D E L I C A C Y gives you a fifty pound bonus. Well played, sir. Gwen for Malcolm. Britain, please. Britain, we'd like Malcolm. Yes, fifty. Fifty pounds you have. For another fifty pounds, Gwen, and you're going very well. In which county, Gwen, is the New Forest? Hampshire. Hampshire gives you fifty pounds. You're going well. Robert for Robbie. History, please, John. History, we'd like. We're OK, yes, it's there. One hundred. One hundred, well played. 
Here we go for 50 pounds, sir. To take you to 400 pounds. Who was the father of Queen Elizabeth the First, Robert? Henry the Eighth. Is right, sir. Gives you 50 pounds. At the end of round two, we have in the lead with 400 pounds, Robert and Robbie. We move on to game three, where we have 100 pounds a question. They are more difficult again, and of course the categories. Are, well, they're there again. Look, be careful, dark players. They're all isolated. So for the last time on the category board, Charlie for Alex. We'll try faces again, please. Faces, please. Yes, 50. 50 pounds you have. For a further 100 pounds, Charlie, look at your monitors, all of you. And that's for you, Charlie. Who's that? Sorry, Jim. The lights will come on, and we've a buzzer there for Robert. Robert Morley. Robert Morley, sir, gives you a £100 bonus. We move on, you're looking very good there. Gwen, you've got £330. Choose a subject for Malcolm. Words, please, Jim. All right, my love. Words, Malcolm, please. Mm. No, it's in Britain. The subject's <gasps> gone, unfortunately. Right, never mind, never mind. No problem. You're looking quite good, Robert, at the moment. Choose a subject for Robbie. Well, try words, please, Jim. Words we'd like. See how he plays this. Words you have for 50. That's how he plays it. 50 pounds you have. When a group of cardinals meet to elect a new pope, what is that meeting called, Robert? A conclave. A conclave gives you 100 pounds. At the end of game one, we have 130 pounds for Alex and Charlie, 330 pounds for Malcolm and Gwen, and 650 pounds for Robert and Robbie. Well played. <laughs> Whoa. We move on now to game two, where we ask the three dart players to compete in three rounds of darts against each other to win for the partners a question, and the value of that question is the winning score. It's pounds for points, one couple to go through to Bullish Prize Board. Who's your money on at home? Over to Tony. OK, Alex. That's a look. Five. Twenty. And one, which is 26. I'm looking. Okay, Malcolm, 26. 20. 20. And treble 20, 100. Well played. Okay, Robbie. It's five. 20. And 19. Which gives you 44, but with 100, it's Malcolm who takes the first round, Jim. Gwen, you probably need to win all three rounds, but this is a good win for you if you can get this. For £100, in Greek mythology, what was the name of the winged horse? Oh, just steady Pegasus. It up. That's it, you see, just relax. <laughs> Pegasus gives you £100. Still in the lead with £650, but getting caught. Robert and Robbie, back to Tony. OK, Alex. 20. Five and twenty, which is forty-five. Okay, Malcolm. Score forty-five. Twenty. Treble twenty. And twenty one hundred. Well done. Well done, Mike. Okay, Robbie. Score to boot. It's five. Treble five. And five, which gives you 25, but with 100, it's Malcolm who takes the second round, Jim. Gwen, you're coming up here for another £100, takes you to £530, then you're within biting distance. Which international human rights organisation campaigns for prisoners of conscience and was founded in Britain in 1961? Oh, I know it. Shh, shh. Yeah, well, just, just relax now, if you know it, you can tell me. Prisoners of conscience... Amnesty International. Amnesty International. Amnesty International. We'll give you £100 for that, madam. Well played. <laughs> £650. You're still there, Robert and Robbie. Back to Tony for the last round. Yes, it's all on the last round as well. All right, Alex. It's one. Twenty. And twenty. Forty-one. Right, Malcolm. Forty-one. And treble 19. So that gives you 63. A good recovery. Robbie, that's the score to beat. 
eight. 20. And 19. So that gives you 47, but with 63, it's Malcolm who takes the final round, Jim. Gwen, you've won all three rounds on this. You've played very well. And you, if you get this, you get 63 more pounds to add to what you've got. So for a further 63 pounds, Gwen, in 1991, France's first woman prime minister cast aspersions on the masculinity of Englishmen. By April 1992, she had gone. Who was she? I really don't know, Jim. OK, we can offer that now, and we can offer that to Robert. Not an easy one, Robert. Can't remember, Jim, sorry. No idea. We come down to Charlie for £41. Sorry, Jim. No idea. Edith Cresson. Right, which means, with £650 through to Bullish Prize Board tonight, Robert and Robbie, well played. <laughs> Very good. Which means that just for now, we've got to say cheerio to Alex and Charlie and Malcolm and Gwen, but I do stress it could well be just for now. In you come, the four of you. Well played. <laughs> well played. Good luck. Come, come in here, Charlie. Well played, Gwen. You were chasing them hard there, weren't you? Very well played, all of you. Alex and Charlie, £130. £530 for you. It's going to take me two minutes to count this out. Not sure about what's going to happen in the second half tonight. Could be anybody's. Big old gamble, isn't it? See you in two minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to this last edition of this current season of Bullseye. We, we thought it was going to be a sad night. Well, it's sad because we're not going to be with you for a while, but it's certainly not sad for these two guys who are doing extremely well, aren't you? You are doing very well. Right. It's charity time. You can relax the two robs. Here we ask the professional dart player, as you know, at home to throw 301 or more with six darts. If they can do that, we'll double it, pounds for points, and give it to the charity chosen by the two robs here. Please welcome, he's got to be simply the best, John Lowe! <laughs> OK, John. Thank you. Best of luck, John. 20. Treble 20. And 20. 100. Good start. It's all right. Good start. Twenty. Twenty. And twenty. Sixty. Hundred and sixty, John. Still good there. Trouble twenty. One. Mm. And 20, 81. Still, so near, won't we? Everyone around the wire. 2 4 1, John. Go on, John. Nice to see you, pal. <laughs> Welcome to Bullseye. Thank you, sir. Say it, we made it sincerely. The series would not be the same without you. Pressure was on then because you knew what you needed, didn't you? A lot of pressure was on, yeah. Oh, dear. And you were with us in the early day. Do you remember the pilot we did? Do, yeah. We yeah. Won't talk about how many it's years ago. Good job they that didn't was. show them, <laughs> <it>? <laughs> We won't talk about that, John. But for, I mean, of all the people playing, all your peers in those early days of Bullseye, and long before that when darts was enormous, of course, you're still there. And a lot of the guys with the best respect in the world are sort of, not faded, but you, you're, you're still there, aren't you, at the top? That's no explanation, Jim. It just happens, isn't it? You can, you can pick your Bobby Charltons and whoever. There's always somebody who stays around. Uh, well, Probably uh, we need new curtains and carpets, so we have to <laughs> stay there to earn them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but basically, but I'm you just... have a, I mean, you've done well. I'm not an ambassador for the game. Well, I thank mean, you. a lovely, a lovely compliment to say you're the Bobby Charlton of the, of the darts world because I mean he's the same for soccer and you're the same for darts. He's got the but, same hairstyle as well. Well, you have I <laughs> a bit more than me. I'm parting mine from the shoulder now, John. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed. It's been brilliant to see you. Thank you, Jim. You're always welcome on Bullseye. If we're back again, will you come back? Sure, I will. You're always welcome. I know you want to wish the boys all the best. Oh, that's nice. And you know this, young man, don't you, Frat? You know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Look after yourself. Right. Give him a wave, John. Anyway, right. the viewers would love it. <laughs> brilliant. Now then, Robert, there was one young man 
Probably one of the re most respected sportsmen in the Britain. They I got you £241 for charity. Tell us where it's going, the money. It's going to a local renal unit patients amenities fund. Yes, right. Now then, that's it. So the winner of Bronze Bull in 1992-93 season is Mike Gregory with 340 points, 680 pounds. Well done, Mike. <laughs> well done. Sadly, even as we speak, Mike Gregory is on his way to Australia to compete in the Pacific Open. When you come back, Mike, Bully will be on your sideboard. We know you'll be thrilled to have him. Take him round, make a few bob for charity. Well done, Mike Gregory. Now, charity, they say, begins at home. Let's see what Bully's prize board has got for you tonight. In one. This modern fridge freezer, so cold it'll even freeze your assets. In two. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get off, it's a pair of inline roller boots. In three. An automatic tea maker. You'll be up for the cup. In four. Now you'll get the message, a combined telephone and answering machine. In five. A fabulous 24-inch mountain bike for free wheeling. In Six. You never need to put another nickel in this whirl. It's a neon cassette radio. In seven. Tony used to frighten the birds before he got a pair of these high-powered binoculars. In eight. Musical earmuffs. Yes, it's a personal stereo system. And Bully's special prize. A culinary cascade for capable caterers. <laughs> a canteen of cutlery. Eat your heart out. <laughs> now, boy. Last show of the series. All right, don't let me down, man. Don't let me down, the two Robs. Keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. Test of memory as well as skill. Just try and remember where your favourite prizes were. Remember Bully's special prize as well. Nine prizes, nine darts. First three. Off you go, Robert. Do take your time. Okay, Robbie, Stand with into it. Nice and easy. And take your time. Best of luck. That's the bullseye! You've got the canteen of cutlery, bully special prize. Well played, Robert. Red, number one. You got it, you wanted it. That's a fridge freezer. And red, number eight. Well played, well played indeed, Robbie. That's the personal stereo. You thought that through really well. Good man. Robert, go to your lights, Robert. Black. Red, number five. Well done, Rob. That's the 24-inch mountain bike. Black. Not a problem. Well done. You've done no damage, Robert. In you go, Robbie. Now, you're going for your lights, Rob. Go for your lights, old son. OK, Robbie. Okay. That's it. Take your time. Red, number three. Well played. That's the tease made. Red, number seven. Gracious me. That's the binoculars. To wind it up, red, number six. That's excellent. That's the Whirlington Neon Cassette Radio. Let's have a look at what you've won. The fridge freezer, the personal stereo, the 24-inch mountain bike, the tease made, the binoculars, the Wurlitzer Neon Cassette Radio and Bully's special prize, the Canteen of Cutlery. Very good. <laughs> Whoa, boys. Last show of the series, you got all but two of those prizes. All right, I need to say no more about that. You're well aware of what you did on there. Highly disciplined performance. You've won £650 as well. You can gamble all that lot, the £650 and the prizes, against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully. 101 or more with six darts. Three for Robert, and Robbie, you would have to pick up the mess that he leaves. Yeah. I'm saying no more than that. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do. What about it? Tell them. Tell them. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Robbie? Robbie? Speak to me. Robbie? Go on, then. Come on. Robbie, speak to me. We'll have a go. You're going for it? Oh, right. Non-dart player first. Just, just get him in the board, Rob. Get him in the board. Change your mind, didn't you? OK, Robert, just settle in. Don't worry. It's a big gamble. The best of luck. Everyone's rooting for you. Off we go. It's 25. Two. 
two. Oh, and one out the board. Still, all is not lost, 27, because Robbie succumbed with three darts, needing 74, Robbie. One more. Five. 19. And 19, so near. Oh, but that's oh, the gamble. A holiday for four in Portugal's famous Algarve, the world's biggest golf course, and it could have been yours for the throw of a dart. But that's the bullseye gamble. Right, never mind, boys. Really, don't worry about it. I know it's that's going to be a bit of a... Not a lot we can say at the end of the series there. You've given a tremendous show tonight. It's been a marvellous show, and that was some gamble. There's some courage in that. But as we always say, you earn the right to choose, and you chose. That was it. You'll never get here again, so you're right to bite it really and give it a go. Thank you for watching this, the last in the present series of Bullseye. It's been a great series. It's been a pleasure to be with you at home. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Thanks to Tony Green, our ever-present, and John Law on this last show. Watch us every week when we come back to see you in the new series, because Sunday wouldn't be the same without a bit of bully. Bye. <laughs>